Hey everybody, here is my first nail polish safari. I have had these pictures for the longest. I actually took these this summer, but I didn't want to trash them because I wanted to know how many of you actually purchased any of this stuff. So think of this as a trip down memory lane as far as products that debuted this summer in drugstores. This is inside of a CVS and it is a Sally Hansen textured effects display. I thought these sugar coat colors were gorgeous, but I wasn't so sure about the textured feel of the polish. Not a big fan of nail polish textures, so I didn't pick any of these up, but the colors are gorgeous. Frankly, I was kind of on a polish no-buy all summer, save for a few items. I have a lot of nail polish. So this is what the sugar coat polish was supposed to look like on your nail, a sort of little pebbly um, look and feel, but still kind of shiny. So let me know in the comments, did any of you pick this up? Next up is the new Fuzzy Coat. Again, not a fan of the texture polishes, but this is pretty cute. The colors, again, completely outrageous. And I liked this detail. I think this would be cuter. This would be a really cute top coat. Not if you put it on thick enough to actually see the fuzz, like, you know, very opaque. But as a top coat, particularly this one, where you could just see the little bar type, um, they're not glitters, I don't know what you would call them, but I think this would look cute on top of another nail polish, but I did not pick this up either. Now this cover girl display had these, the new Outlast Stay Brilliant Gloss Teenies. Now, I really liked this packaging. I just love these square bottles like this. Let me know in the comments, did any of you pick up any of these? Because I didn't get any of these either. Or these. Now these were in CVS. But I also saw these in a Marshalls. But the crazy thing is. Is that they were $7.99 in Marshalls. As well as $7.99 here. I liked this idea though. Because it is. If you are a really big fan of doing. Gradation effects on your nails. If you've done that before with makeup sponges, and then, you know, you sponge on a little and sponge on a different one. Here, it's all set up and ready to go for you. They have the three colors. But I thought $7.99 was way too much for this. They had this in blue, and they had it in pink. You could... Nail polish is usually displayed in color order, so to speak, so you could just get three dollar nail polishes that are different shades and do this yourself. So, anyway... This collection, very pretty, Under the Sea by Sally Hansen from their Complete Salon Manicure line. Very gorgeous. Now, as you can see on the picture, that's at the back of the display. There are no reds, so I don't know why these reds are actually in the display, but all these blues were super gorgeous. Then there was this, the Milani Textured Creams, which looked more interesting to me than the Fuzzy Coat from Sally Hansen. I didn't get a chance to try these, though. But I did, I was just drawn to so many yellows this summer. I really like that yellow. Here is a top coat for nails. Now, the only thing on this display really was the Spellbound top coat, which had like little moods and stars in it. So it wasn't just a glitter top coat. It had the shapes, but it didn't really look that fantastic to me. So I didn't get it. These were super cute. And I wanted to pick some of these up, but I didn't. This is These are French manicure sets, so to speak. Although you had to buy each polish individually. But they had these color combos for you. I thought this was really, really cute. And particularly that green and orange combo. And then the peach and the blue combo. Two of my faves. Here was the polishes from the Hot Tropics line from Revlon, but as you can see, this display was a little picked over. Then there was this. I happened upon a full display. Can you believe it? This was the Miss Candy Limited Edition collection, and all of these polishes. I really like L'Oreal nail polish. I think it's great nail polish. I would have gotten 
the blue and the yellow, of course, but I did get any of them. They were these jelly nail polishes, which I'm not that big of a fan of. So, on top of the fact that I wasn't really buying any polish, I am not that big of a fan of jellies anyway. But if I were going to buy these polishes, I would have gotten the blue and the yellow. Now, here is a picture from the dollar store. Now, this is a Milani nail polish. And some people have been saying they've been finding Milani lip glosses in the dollar store. I have not been finding any Milani uh, lip gloss. So, I don't know what Dollar Tree these people are going in. But be on the lookout because I have heard that recently. These pictures aren't recent, but I have heard recently people have been finding Milani lip gloss. Now here is something I got at Burlington Co. Factory. Now this is technically supposed to be for your lips, but it was a plain shea butter one. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I could just use it as a cuticle butter. And no, I could not. It did not work out well for that at all whatsoever. So I do want to say that this was in a Walgreens. I forgot to mention that. So this is in a Walgreens, you know, and um, the rest of the stuff was in a CVS. What else is in a Walgreens? Starting from, starting from here, everything, this, this, all of these were Walgreens, in case you were wondering. And then this was the Dollar Tree, and then this is in my house, but I bought this in Burlington Co. Factory. So I always check out Burlington Co. Factory too, where the like, uh, there's lots of different nail polish there. They have tons of e.l.f. products in there too. But as far as any of the other things were, well not were, but as far as any of the other products that I've shown, let me know in the comments any of the stuff that you picked up either this summer or recently and what you thought of it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.